cares about the law. That lets you know they are a perfect program slave. That's the mindset that got us here. Read Isaiah 5 and 13. Now I need you to read Jeremiah 17. We're going back to Daniel. Read Isaiah 5 and 13, please. Isaiah 5 verse 13. Therefore, my people have gone into captivity. Therefore, my people have gone into captivity. Now he's giving you the reason why. Read. Because they have no knowledge. Because they have no knowledge. If they have no knowledge of themselves, they're slaves by default. See that? Therefore, my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. So this is the knowledge Daniel was told to shut up and at the very end would be increased. Right? We want. And their honorable men are famished. And their honorable men are famished. That means those that we honor are not in positions to give us what we lack. We honor Jesse Jackson, Reverend Al Sharpton. We honor Farrakhan. We honor all these different leaders. But these leaders are famished. Why? They don't have the food that will give us the knowledge we lack. They don't have what Daniel shut up and say will be revealed to us at the end. They don't have that knowledge. And if they do have it because of their allegiance with these societies, they're not given it. We and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. And it says their multitude is dried up with thirst. Their multitude is dried up with thirst. Read verse fourteen. Therefore. Hell hath enlarged herself. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Now our people are busting hell wide open. Read. And opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp. And he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. That's crystal clear. So somebody tell me hell is not real. The, the nations that are over us revel in going to the underworld and living in the underworld. And I want and we gotta do a lesson on that too. On cremation. Cremation is a sacrifice of the Romans to the gods of the underworld. It's a ritualistic setup that binds souls to Hades. The Romans know this, the Grecians know this. If you don't believe this, you can, you can look, look at the research yourself. Go into the origin of cremation. It was a Greek ritual, knowing that under the law, you had to take a body according to the Most High's law and give it back to the dust. Knowing that at the very end, when the time comes, those same, that same matter out of the earth will be materialized when we're made immortal. So cremation is evil, but what did they do? They made a deal with these, these so-called funeral services who are also under the government. They made a deal with them to say, well, listen, let's make it cheaper for cremation. The family is, all the families are already in debt. They can't really afford to bury someone when ground is free. You should be able to take a shovel, 
dig up the ground and put a body in it. You can still use what's over there if you want because it goes right back to the dust. But there's a ritual they do in which the soul, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an entrapment of souls they deal with, with their whole Greek and Roman ritual to Satan and cremation. Look it up. According to the Bible, we are supposed to bury. Period. That's the honorable thing to do. All right? Go back to Daniel 12. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. Which says, Knowledge shall be increased. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even unto the time of the end. Even unto the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And knowledge shall be increased. What knowledge? The knowledge of who we are. Hold that. Get Jeremiah 17 and 4. And Hosea 1 and 10. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Even thyself, children of Israel, shall discontinue from your heritage. That's you not knowing your heritage. How did that happen? Slavery. Captivity. Conquest. Read. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And I shall cause thee to what? To serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. I will cause thee, based on you losing this knowledge, I will cause thee to serve thine enemy in a land which you know not. So this is proven right here that those who went into captivity are the people of this book. Beyond any shadow of a doubt. And when we went into captivity, we had no knowledge that we were actually the children of Israel and we were living a curse that was written thousands of years before it happened. But now, we're living in a time in which the seal has been broken and knowledge is being increased. The knowledge of who we are. The powers of this earth are entirely, they are totally afraid because this is telling them that their time is up. It's a, it's a sign to all the powers who are leading today. They are in, they are in Satan, all of them are totally afraid. That's why I'm telling brothers and sisters, this is not a time to be afraid of the powers and what they'll do to us. They are more afraid that we're waking up. And it's a catch-22 for them. If they begin to kill us, more of us are going to wake up. And that will speed their time up even more. So they're contemplating. It's a catch-22. There's more. I need you to finish reading what you have and go to Hosea 1 and 10. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Go ahead. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. We will spread and populate to the point where you cannot measure us. Hence, the, the doctrination or the, or, or the doctrine of eugenics. You know what eugenics is? You have any idea what eugenics is? Okay. Eugenics is depopulation. You know what depopulation is? Yes or no? Okay, well let me speak in a language you understand. Just say if you had a family and I knew that your family would one day rule everything and it's, it, it, it's my interest to stop that family. I would plan to do everything I can to make sure that family dies out. Like if you had, you had a family that was prophesied to rule one day, I would target that family and put programs in place to stop your family from rising. I would make abortion. I would target to put you in jail so that you cannot have children. I would 
I would make man-made sexual diseases and put it amongst your house so that you can't have, so that it would give you the spirit of not wanting to reprocreate. I would promote prophylactics or birth control within your house so that your family don't come and one day rule over me. I would also take your son and send him to war to die in the war, your, son, your sons and your daughters, because if they're dead, they can't have children. I would also make sure that you, your children, their husbands and wives, fight against each other so that they don't come together because if they're mad at each other, they can't love each other and have children. I would also target your children and start promoting homosexuality amongst your children so that a man can be with another man and a woman can be with another woman, therefore, no children. That's eugenics. Sounds familiar? <laughs> it makes more sense of why things is the way it is, right? Exactly. Okay. I don't want to say things here and you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, good. All right, good. Let's go to Hosea. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Go ahead. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass that in that place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. In that same place in which it was said, ye are not my people. Where it was told to you that you were Gentiles. That same people where it was said, were you African American, or you black, or you're Spanish, or you're this, that, and the other. In that same land in which you had these bywords and names that God didn't give you, we there it shall be said unto them. In that same land it shall be said unto them what? Ye are the sons of the living God. You people are the children of Israel. In that same land that you were carried away, you would know the Most High would reveal himself to us once that seal was broken that we've read in the book of Daniel. Knowledge shall increase. What knowledge? The knowledge that we are the children of Israel. And see, and this alone tells us how valid and strong the Bible is. Because these things I'm speaking of is not in any other book. The Bible broke the code. And now they're promoting atheist teaching, homosexual teaching, evolution, everything to have you question the only book with the answers. And that's the Bible. I mean, there's all levels of censorship now. I mean, they're doing everything not to have, like, we're going to try to promote this video right here and put it out there to show, to show people that knowledge is increasing, the knowledge of our people. Because with that alone, it will break the captivity that have been on our minds for years. So we're going to try to put this out there to the people, but we're going to know they're going to try to stop this too. We have to know as a people how important we are and at what part we play in profit.